Hello beautiful friends. I'm back in the same spot as I was in the last video. I think this is going to be my like favourite sit spot for some time. Um, I just absolutely love it here. It's just so magical. And this is my second take. I don't often do that. I usually just like do one take and, and that's it. Um, I'm feeling such a deep softness and calmness and it's really windy today so I hope that the sound is okay. I'll try and keep the mic close by. Um, yes, I, I'm feeling really tired. We've got the eclipse coming up on Sunday and yeah, my energy is very different today is it, to how it was in the last video. So we'll just, I'll just see what what flows. I've had a, I had a couple of ideas of what I wanted to share about, um, and one of them was born out of a question from. Um, it's so funny. I am so I'm in the same place as last time with this like hope that the deer will appear again. You never know. You never know. So yes, a question from Gossamer, Wings of Gossamer from Instagram, and she asked me how I perceived the fairies, and I just thought, yeah, this is a really important topic, and and I feel like it is an extension of what I was speaking about yesterday, or in the last video, about how I open to these element elemental realms, and. Yeah, so I'm going to attempt to <laughs> I'm going to attempt to answer this question. But wow, my energy is Okay, I'm just I'm just kind of tuning in because I'm just starting to hear something. Okay, I'm just going to talk about what's going on today and then see where it leads me because when I walked into this part of the woodland, I came off the main path and came into this space and I started to feel what I recognize as the elven beings. Whoa, they're like, yep, we're right here with you right now. And that for me is really quite a, um, it's quite an intense frequency in a way because they're such a beings of pure light uh, or pure purity. I don't know if pure light is quite the right word. Um, but, there's this just like beautiful crystalline energy that I feel with them and so so much love and such deep wisdom and they're like these just the beautiful guardians of nature from what I understand they're like the original seed like they seeded so much of of nature and what's here on earth right now so yeah they're really I say they're really important beings and so as I was feeling them and I had this question that I wanted to come and answer I was thinking well how do I know it's their their energy and for me with this it's definitely just it's like a sense it's like a frequency and I was thinking how do I describe that and the days of the week came to me and I don't know if everybody has this but I I think so. I think most people do. It's like each day of the week has a slightly different vibration. It's like you know what a Saturday feels like and you know what a Sunday feels like. So it's that kind of experience within my body when it comes to perceiving these different beings. So uh, for me the angels have a certain frequency, um, the elven have a certain frequency, the gnomes, um, yeah I see a, a, a frequency a vibration and I just and I know it like I feel it I feel it in my body oh yeah and that's what that's that was one of the really key ones that that has been coming into my awareness in the last few days thinking about how I might guide people into feeling these realms and it just feels so important with getting into the body and feeling in the body, feeling the, it's the experience that's happening in the body. So like when I feel different plants or if I want to tune into a plant, then I'm feeling it with my body. 
and I'm listening with my body, with my heart. Yeah, so it's really coming into using the different senses. And I always forget what the different senses are called. Which ones are which, player audience, which is obviously hearing. So I do hear. So I, I do hear things sometimes, though. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm posting quite a lot more on my, um, on my stories at the top at the moment. And yesterday I had this experience where... Um, I was having my dinner outside and I've created like a little fairy altar. I have wanted an outdoor fairy altar for so long and I'm finally in a space where that that's possible. And um, I've been leaving mead there for for the elementals. I've learned very much that they like mead and that message was coming through so much recently. I mean, a little bit like I was sharing about the um, in the last video about I was getting books given to me um, that would have the story, would have the teachings in that I had just been given internally. Um, I, sometimes I have the same thing with videos at the moment. So um, like they'll come and give messages. I mean, the elementals are the beings of matter, so they can bring their, their messages however they like. And we're all pretty plugged in online at the moment, so that's a really good medium for them. So I was getting, I was watching um, different videos and the the subject of mead kept coming up and it had already been planted in my consciousness of like, I need to give mead as an offering. And um, so yeah, yesterday I'm having, I'm having my meal and I get this very strong message of like, I need to go and sit at my altar this evening, my fairy altar outside this evening. Um, and I didn't really know why, so I, I took a blanket to sit on and the bottle of mead. And I was like, I need to give an offering. So I poured it. I've got like a little tea light holder and I poured a little bit into the tea light holder. And then they were like, now pour the rest of the bottle. <laughs> and I was like, what? No. <laughs> I was really trying to argue with them. And um, they were like, no, no, pour it, pour it, pour it, pour the bottle, pour the bottle, like put all of it, all of it, give all of it. And I was like, no, like that's meant to last. Like, I mean, I'd bought it for them, actually. I'd bought it as an offering. So I was like, well, why would I not give it all? And they were like, you want to learn about abundance? You know, just just pour it all. So um, after a while, I they convinced me. You know, so I'm hearing this like inner dialogue. It's It's like my voice, but I know it's not... I know it's not me I like because I feel their frequency I feel their energy as well as hearing this um, hearing these words so I often get it that way I hear um, I hear direction or I hear teachings or in- information um, yes I had great fun yesterday and I just poured the bottle of um, of mead um, it was it was about two-thirds of a bowl um, all over the ground and um, they were just like yeah she did it she did it and they were so excited um, yeah so I'll get them like visuals as well so I'll see it's like oh my gosh it's a little bird who just came and joined me So sweet. I don't. I don't think that was on camera at all. Then. Oh, that, oh no, it's still there. Oh, it flew so close by. I had that this morning when I sat at my altar again. They after, after having given them all my mead, I was like, "What can I give you next?" And they were like, um, "Give us tea." So, okay, this video is going off on a tangent completely. Um, so I made. Um, from some rose, uh, some dried roses from around our front door, I made some tea for them. And as I was there, this bird just flew so close to me. I'm really feeling a lot around the animals right now and the birds. There's, there's something going on. There's some, like, my senses is like as we are kind of going into this ascension, like everything is, right? So the, um, the animals and the birds. Um, are as well there's this 
there's there's something I haven't haven't tuned into it enough yet to fully understand what's happening there. So I hear, I feel, I sense, I know. It, like it often very much comes through as a knowing. You know, like so, for instance, last night when I'm sitting at my having having my food, and it was just this really. It's like giving, being given this image, and it's like, I know I have to go and sit and do that. Like, and so, yeah, yeah, there's a very, there's a, a big, yeah, deep knowing in my being um, that I've learned to trust now. So hearing, feeling, seeing in my inner vision. That one's a really interesting one, because when I did start first opening to the elemental realms, um, the way that I see things is like my imagination, I think, and I touched on that in the last video. Um, so it's like it's my imagination, but actually, yeah, it's not. So um, that's interesting. My, my mind's going a bit blank. Sometimes when my mind goes blank, it's almost like a sense of like, oh, I'm not quite saying the right thing or going down the right lines. Um, imagination. Yeah, so when I see, it's like, yeah, it's like having an image in my mind, but I don't see like crystal clear images. Like sometimes I think other people do. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if they do, but I do get images. So, so one, so right now I just have an Im had an image of the gnome that came to me. And so... Like I, I saw him in my mind's eye or the leprechaun that I saw. It's like I saw the image and sometimes it's not very clear and sometimes it's really clear. And um, yeah, recently actually in this woods when I was up at the, the rocks that I like to go and sit on, um, I went into one really special little magical place and it's a place that I wouldn't always go into like I definitely have to get a very clear knowing that I'm allowed to go in there and I had that one day and I sat and made this kind of little um it wasn't a mandala but it was a line of different bits of nature and I just created like this beautiful little bit of art which for me is an offering as well okay they want me to talk about offerings and gifting as well um, so, and I sat there and I'd done this and I was watching, I think I shared in the last video again, like the ants in this, in this forest are big and red and juicy and, um, and I closed my eyes and I'd been like saying this light language had been coming through, just these words, just these sounds and these words and I'd created, oh, there's one of the little ants now carrying off a big piece of something um, <laughs> I'm so sidetracked there's so much going on you know there is so much going on in nature all the time it's just like never never a dull moment so yeah that time and then I went into meditation after doing this light language and creating this bit of art and this offering and and I closed my eyes and I saw this ant being and so now I keep every time I come into this woods these woods I'm like oh the ant king there's an ant king that lives here because that's what he looked like but it was like it flashed up and I saw it with my eyes closed so sometimes yeah sometimes that does happen where there is a really clear image um, but that doesn't happen that often I'm just wondering if there's anything else to share in that. You know, I'm going to stop this here because I want to share it on Instagram and I've only got 15 minutes on there. So I'm going to stop this here and then I'm going to continue to talk about uh, offerings. So if you're watching on Instagram, you can go to YouTube to catch the end of this. Okay, so... Uh, so yeah, giving offerings. So something that's really coming up at the moment, and I thought I was going to do a separate video on this, but for some reason they want me to talk about it now. 
Um, this is subject of like co-creating with the elementals and I really did think I would, I will do a video on that as they give me more information and I think once my, the course begins on Sunday um, it's going to be really organic so I'm just like I have an idea of the structure but I know that they're going to be sharing lots more information with me and like they want us to allow their messages to come through our art um, so that I've really learned since putting this um, this course out I'm like oh that's what we're doing okay and, and this is my art right now like I'm not creating jewelry I'm not painting I'm making videos and creating courses and this is this is my art form this is my my creativity right now um, but the, so the yes the offerings so um, the word reciprocity, if I said that right, uh, reciprocity, I think that's right. Um, so it's like the giving back, it's like we take so much from nature and this is, the pro this is one of the major problems on this planet right now is that we have taken so much and we give so little back. You know, it's just not in our culture to give back at all. So, you know, it felt so good, you know, pouring this entire, well, actually wasn't entire, but pouring all of this bottle of mead onto the ground yesterday. I just like, and if they want me to go and buy the mead, they'll give me money. Like, I, there'll be money available if that's what they want. Um, and I can make them tea. I've got some tea sitting down here in a mug, actually. I've had, I had a cup of tea. And I've left a mug of it out. Um, before I leave, I, I will pour it down. So they feed off the, they feed off the energy of the offerings. That's the way it's been shown to me. It's like when we create a, a mandala on the ground, or we give tea, or we give food, or we burn smoke medicine for them. Um, or whatever it is that you're feeling guided to give. And I would say really tune into that as well, because like I, I see sometimes people leave things that, you know, aren't even biodegradable, like plastic ribbons. And, you know, really just, just be quite mindful about if you're gifting, what you're gifting, make sure it does it is biodegradable. And what I understand that they really like is, um, things that we have made so yeah whether it's food or tea or mead or yeah or um, art but um, yeah so something that we've made something that's infused with our with our energy as well and um, they can feed off that and um, yeah so never eat or drink what you've gifted because the life force energy has gone and it was for them and be generous. That's what I'm learning about in the moment is, is to be generous. And, um, and I think these things will really support you in um, opening your connection with the elementals. Um, so let me just see if there's anything else to share today. Okay, so what I'm experiencing right now, just to share that, so when I tune in sometimes, it's like I'm feeling, I'm just feeling. I'm quietening myself, I'm slowing down, and I'm feeling. And then the images, or the words, or the sounds, or whatever it is, start to, to arise. Oh no, now I'm thinking about something else I wanted to share. <laughs> um, so, like what I was feeling in that moment was all this excitement, so much excitement and the thought that more people are going to interact with the elementals, like they're so excited by that and for me like this is a huge part, like if you're worried about climate change, go and start creating a relationship with nature, I just feel like I need to shift because the sun, the sun has shifted, um, that's quite nice bringing the sun in. Yeah, go and, um, oh yeah, the sun so wants to be in it right now. 
go and create your own relationship with these beings, with these elementals, and and start to listen, start to slow down, start to allow yourself to be guided to um, what it is that you, what your part is to play right now as we're going through this shift, as the environment needs us more than it's ever done before. You know, it's just, you know, and we need to do it from a different place. Again, I feel like there's a whole other um, that's a whole other video to make. So this video has been a little bit all over the place, but um, I just have to flow with what, you know, with what wants to be said. Um, oh yeah, the one last thing I was going to share about, about perceiving the elemental realms is, oh my God, that could be a whole other topic as well, um, is like seeing it in nature, seeing seeing faces in the trees, seeing leaves waving at me, like actually seeing, I'm beginning to see more and more things actually manifesting in the physical. Um, and, it's, and it's comical. It's so funny sometimes the way they show up and the faces that I get to see. And... Um, yeah, and the, the messages that, that, that are left, the hearts that I find, or there's, there's so many, oh, it's such a big subject, I really could talk for hours about it, <laughs> oh I have done, <laughs> I've got an archive of, of things now, okay, I'm going to stop, otherwise it will just go on for ages, um, mm -mm -mm. complete, I am complete for now. So I hope that, I really hope that some of the stuff that I've said is useful and can help you to trust your own intuition, trust the experiences that you're having or start to open you to having your own experiences and, um, and we can learn more about the world that we live in and how to move forward together with nature um, at this time. So yay, thanks for watching again. And if you've enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe and leave a comment. And if you know anybody else that you think would uh, benefit from this, please share it and check out my website for any courses or for working one-to-one -one with me. So yeah, I look forward to interacting with you all more. And yes, oh, and if you have any other questions, it's really lovely coming and doing this and just answering these questions. It feels really good. Um, yeah, so much love. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these like exquisite um, honeysuckle. I can't tell you how beautiful the yeah. stem. What's special about these is I just found them down by my feet. Okay, now I swear to God they were not there when I first sat down. I would have seen them because that's the kind of stuff I see. <laughs> oh my gosh. They smell amazing. And I'm looking around here and I don't see honeysuckle anywhere. And they were right down by, um, sorry, I don't have my, I don't have my selfie stick now because I just thought I would share this quickly. Um, they were, they were down on the floor where right next to my feet, which was right next to where my offering was. They gifted me this. This is where sometimes I start to think like, ah, uh, you know, like you, now people will think you're mad. Oh my God, that is just is so beautiful. I had this experience once where um, last year where I made um, this beautiful mandala under a tree and um, I went back a few days later and I went to look at the mandala and sat in the middle of the mandala with these t three tiny little feathers. I mean, it was just the most beautiful and magical moment. Oh, nature is, does talk to us and magic is real. <laughs>
<laughs> but you've got to believe it, right? You've got to believe it. I tell you, these really weren't here. They weren't here before. And here they are now. <laughs>